I want you to be aware of the fact that if your life is off track, if you're already derailed, God will use a crisis to come into your life because a crisis is nothing more than a turning point. And when we've been living life according to our own dictates, doing our own thing, living according to the appetites of our flesh, God will let you experience a crisis in your life. And you can do some things in some little crisis, you'll be able to fix up yourself. You'll be able to patch it up, but only for a season. And God will let a crisis that is of enough magnitude to be able to serve as a turning point in your life. He's not trying to destroy you when crises come. He's simply trying to turn you. And so every crisis has built in it turning point. If you're on a job, and if God really didn't mean for you to be there, he'll cause a crisis on that job. And it'll turn you from that place to the place where you belong. And there are some things that God will bring a crisis in because sometimes our attitude is not right. And you know when you try to talk to people that are mule-headed and stubborn, it's like talking to a, a, a brick wall. And so God has to let a crisis come because there are some folks that you can't tell anything to. Tell your neighbor, say, I know that person. <laughs> you know people like that. That when you've tried to warn, you've tried to tell them, listen, this is not going to work. You've tried to tell them, listen, you need to straighten up. You need to stop this. And uh, they, they just, they're on top of the world. They're feeling good. Everything is working. 